please do keep your time in good morning ma'am respected chair persons and all the respected dignitaries present here myself dr bharati pal i am curator of epigraphy and numismatic in odisha state museums from yesterday i have heard lots about the on omens in veda upanishad ramayana mahabharata and environment in everything but my paper is completely different from that i have in my odisha i have been in charge of epigraphy that's why i have give, give you new the real or uh, original source how the omens are ruling in odisha nowadays we are speaking lots about in 21st century about about women empowerment in 21st century जो नारी का सशस्त्रीकरण बारे में बहुत ही चर्चा हो रहा है लेकिन हमारी उड़ीसा में इन आवर उड़ीसा दैट प्रोग्राम दैट थिंग इन हाफन इन एट एंड नाइन नाइन्थ सेंचुरी ए डी द सिक्स क्वीन ऑफ द भोम कर डायनेस्टी दो हैव रूल्ड ओवर विथ फुल सवरन पावर विथ द टाइटल परम महेश्वरी परम वैष्णवी परम भट्टारिका महाराज धीराजा लाइक दिस इज द रॉयल एफिथेट in an ancient odisha wives are neighbors rule independent position of women position of women yeah the women enjoyed a respectable position in ancient and medieval periods of odisha the epigraphic records throw a considerable light on the women that particularly the bhomakara periods in the bhoma rules they have ruled about 200 years and among the six queen they have ruled about hundreds years they are prithvi mahadevi tribhuvan mahadevi dandi mahadevi bakula mahadevi dhamma mahadevi and gauri mahadevi you don't think their husband is there the male hair is there still the women are ruled over odisha with full sovereign power with de jure and de facto sovereignty i have taken two great women of homakara periods that is tribhuvan mahadevi and dandi mahadevi the women enjoyed a respectable position in ancient odisha in in the ancient period wives of the kingdom did not usually succeeded to their husband throne even if a queen king died without male heirs of the, their either their throne go to the relatives or they have adopted their one male child in case of the satavahana dynasty ruled over andhra pradesh that the satavahana queen nayanika and the bakataka king queen prabhavati gupta they ruled as the regent of their minor sons but not independently in in also in south india the chalukyan queens also ruled as a governor of their minor but they never ruled as an independent king independent kingdoms with their full sovereign rights but the tale of odisha is completely different in 8th 9th century there is a women empowerment the two queens that is tribhuvan mahadevi she is assume the title parama vaishnavi goswamini sindha gauri parama bhattarika maharaj dhiraj that she is the she was the tribhuvan mahadevi was the daughter of rajamalla of karnataka dynasty she is belong to sindha bhava that's why her name is sindha gauri she was ruled with full sovereign power during her rule the complete odisha odisha was unificated under her under her efficient administration she was compared with sesanaga like sesanaga she the like sesanaga she that uh, he entire administration that queen tribhuvan mahadevi taken our soldiers during her times the feudal rulers was brought down or hurt in the copper plate inscription that is written that all the feudal rulers they brought down under her feet and 
Now the three things happened during her time. First, the whole of Odisha was uni unified till the Dandavakti Mandala, that is in West Bengal. And second thing, in Vanquist, all the enemies and the third times her glory was spread abroad. And in the grant, there is a very unique thing was written, as long as the river Ganges flow on the, on the earth, as long as the sea encircle in the earth, as long as the star, the sun, and moon that is, on the, that is in, in the sky, the, this grant is there. Madam, only, only five ten minutes. I have a very short paper mine. And one other queen is, after that, one queen is Dandi Mahadevi. Many copper plates she have issued by Dandi Mahadevi. And from this copper plate evidence, that is means that we, we presume that she was on merit. And she granted the copper plate grant in both the Tosali. That time, Odisha is name is Udra, Udra Utkala, Kalinga, Tosala, like this. And in both the kids, in the both of the Sali that she is granted her copper plate, plate grants. And that time also many feudatories like Bhanjas, the Gangas, they have acknowledged her supremacy. Besides, and see also that Tribhuvana Mahadevi was Parama Vaishnavi and Dandi Mahadevi was Parama Mahistori. One important thing I will tell you that in that time the Bhomara kings are all Buddhist. They have assumed the title of Parama Saugata, Saugata Sraya, Parama Tathagata, but their wives are Parama Mahishwari and Parama Vaishnavi. That time, the religious tolerance was also seen in Odisha. Besides this, uh, this uh, Danti Mahadevi and Tribhuvana Mahadevi, Odishan queens also involved in the temple building activities. Odishan queens also in the many copper plates the grants in Bhanja, we have seen that the, the, the queens are registered the grant. In that one queen, that is you know, Chandrika Devi, Chandrika belongs to Ganga dynasty, that dynasty who constructed Jagannath temple. The beautiful Chandrika, whose lotus eyes was attracted everybody. She was also she was also interested in export in dance, music, and philosophy. In her physical, philosophical activity or Tarkasastra, Osme, Osabka Haraditi, she defeated all the greats pandit of the royal court. That, that Chandrika or Chandra, she was the daughter of Ananga Bhima Deva and she married one higher prince, Paramadi Deva. Paramadi was also very strong ruler and he was killed in warfare. And in, from the very beginning, Chandrika was devoted to Achutya or Lord Vishnu. A great Paramadi, when Paramadi was strongly fought in the battleground, after that, he was died in the battlefield. When he died, Chandrika became widow and she completely devoted to Lord Vishnu. And she constructed the Vaishnav, that the Ananta Vasudeva temple. The original inscription of Vaishnava Deva temple was taken by the Britishers. Now it is displayed in the Royal Asiatic so Society of London. One colonel, Stuart, a major general of Bengal army, that he has taken this Ananta Vasudeva temple inscription. This Ananta Vasudeva temple inscription is written completely in a verse. This is a very beautiful inscription of Chandrika Devi, and it was also deciphered, edited by one Britisher, Leonard D. Burnett. This was edited first, this, uh, this uh, Ananta Vasudeva temple inscription. This An Ananta Vasudeva is a huge temple. It is constructed in 1278 AD. And in that temple that, that is built in Ekamra, that time Bhuvaneswar, the present capital of Odisha, Bhuvaneswar is now, that time was Ekamra Khetra. And that Ekamra Khetra is famous for God Krithivasa or Lord Shiva. For the first time, Lord Chandri, Devi Chandrika constructed a Vaishnava temple at Ekamra Khetra. And Ekamra Khetra, that is a Bindusara lake is flowing on that and that Ananta Vasudeva temple, she, she worshiped the three goddesses that Baladeva, Krishna, 
एंड सुभद्रा एंड द लेटर ऑन बलदेव कृष्ण एंड सुभद्रा बिकम जगन्नाथ बलभद्र एंड सुभद्रा इन लेटेस्ट टाइम इन थर्टीन सेंचुरी एट थैंक यू दिस इज माय पेपर एंड ऑल द एपिग्राफिक रिकॉर्ड्स थ्रो लॉट्स ऑफ क्विंस एक्टिविटीज एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग्स ग्रांटिंग लैंड्स आई हैव गिवन ओनली फ्यू एग्जाम्पल बिकॉज लॉट्स देर इज वेरी लॉन्ग शॉर्ट ड्यूरेसन दैट्स वाई एम प्रेजेंट दिस पेपर्स थैंक यू वेरी मच